I've artificialized, and Dad talked about using me as a Halloween prop one Christmas. <laughs> to scare little kids, you know, I was going to have him take his eyes out, and I said, Halloween one Christmas. So, so, so you're a big seven years old, right? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Eight. About to be cool. eight. Well, you know, I thought you were a big seven. Mm -hmm. So you're about to be eight. When's your birthday? Um, September 1st. Okay. Nice. So I remember got... that for two reasons. Okay. One, because because it, it's my birthday, and second, because it's Harry Potter, because it's when Harry Potter goes back to school. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. you guys can just turn this into a Harry Potter convention, I think. Yeah, those are those are some good books, Patrick. You know, yeah, I'm only at number two. Oh. I heard about Harry Potter and the Deadly Hollows. It's really good. I seen part two. Nice. So um, we appreciate you uh, meeting with Jake. He's uh, been struggling a little bit lately with thinking that he's not ever going to be able to do anything. Uh, you can do you can do plenty. You know, just uh, not able to see. You know, think of all the great things that you can still do. Still able to get around easily, I'm sure. Yeah, that's for sure. So what head, else? Just ask this lady. So you had sight. Um, he was born with with a very small amount of vision in his left eye. Uh -huh. um, and then uh, three years ago on Christmas morning, we woke up and the vision was gone. Mm. And um, he's had quite a few surgeries. and um, 16 still, probably. We wow. still st struggle now with pressures in his eyes at, uh -huh. at some point. Um, we might have to go to the implants like, like your son has. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we really have focused and tried his entire life to tell him that he can accomplish anything. Absolutely. And, Amen. Um, but lately it's been, it's been a struggle for him in the past week or so, actually. Uh, um, he just really feels like he's not ever going to be able to do the things that he wants, especially when he gets older, mm -hmm. because, of, because of the fact that he's blind. Well, Jake, you know, before my son was born, I had a dream that he'd be a star on a football field, right? And you know, when he was born without eyes, and of course Patrick uses a wheelchair as well, so he can't, he can't even walk like you do. So I kind of gave up on him ever being a star on a football field, but you know what? He was on ESPN for, they, they did a seven minute video about my son that aired on College Game Day on ESPN because he became a star on a football field but he did it through the marching band, not as a football player, but through the marching band. So I don't know what dreams your mom's talking about that you don't think you're going to be able to That's fulfill not a dream. your goals. But, buddy, you can do it. Maybe not the way you plan on it, but you can do it. Listen, i got a little gift for you Patrick does. He's got two CDs that he's made, okay, so you can listen to Patrick's music, okay? And he makes his own and music. Patrick's actually written a book. And I don't have a, an audio copy with me, but it is available on audio, so you can listen to Patrick's oh, book. Oh, I do, because I have an iPad at home. Cool. And we it's, I think it's on Kindle. Okay, what's so the name of the book? It's called I Am Potential. I Am Potential. And Patrick Potential. wrote a book and did a book tour. He's been around the world. So don't let, don't let not having your eyesight hold you back, buddy. I expect great things from you, okay? Don't don't let your don't let ha not having your eyesight hold you back. You can do amazing things. Do you have any questions for him? Yes. Okay. Does this play on DVD? Does the CDs? Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, either that or we can play it in the car. It'll well, play in your mom's car and stereo. Your, that's and your for sister sure. has a CD player. You'll oh, she will never let me use that. Uh, uh, swear, only sisters. me, and, only me and Brendan will will sneak it out of her out of her room. <laughs> Who's Brendan? <laughs> Brendan, Older he's brother. my brother. Okay, is a sister in the middle? Uh -huh. We got two uh. sisters. Ah, uh, yeah. you say that like it's some sort of curse. <laughs> <laughs> we got two sisters. Like one wasn't enough, right? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Starting with my first sister. Yeah, that wasn't enough. Yeah. So who's the baby? Are you the baby, or you got a younger sister? No, you're, I'm the youngest. You're the youngest? I was the youngest. There's nothing like being the youngest. That's the best. I always remind my older brothers and sisters about that. Oh, and I all, and I all, like my, so one time my cousin. Yep. So anyway, I seen this commercial and like, it was talking about how this girl said, like, you know, this dress is gay. And he said that before and I said that wasn't nice. 
Mm -hmm. and, you, and like I'm just going to remind him every day about that. There yeah. you go. Good for you. So um, keep him on the on the straight and narrow, buddy. Do you want to ask Patrick maybe how he dealt with um, if he ever had a problem with feeling like he was the only one and he didn't know anybody like him, like you've been struggling yes. with? Yes. Um, well, you know, I, my my parents never really dwelt on the fact that you know I don't have the the sight. You know, they just dwelt on the things that I could do, and. Uh, you know, so I never really saw it as a problem. I think there's one story I sometimes tell. I was at a daycare center, and uh, they had an electronic keyboard that I enjoyed playing with, and this girl came up to me. She said, did you know you're blind? I said, no. She said, do you know why you're blind? Uh, I said, no. She said, because you were born that way. Well, okay. <laughs> Just the way God made you. He makes us all different, you know? Nobody's, nobody, no two people are exactly like. I'm going to give your mom a, a business card, Jake, you and your mom, and it's got Patrick's website on it. And Patrick, why don't you show Jake your, uh, your uh, Braille note? This is a, this is a thing, oh, Jake. Oh, I know how to read Braille. Do you? Yes. yes. This is a little so computer that Patrick uses called a Braille note. And I think you're maybe going to be working on getting one of those at school, Here, right? And this, oh! Patrick was a straight-A student, Jake. He studied hard and used oh, his Braille I know, note. I know what that is. Um... Um, at my school, we have one that's called the M20. Oh, nice. What's yours, Patrick? And uh, I think mine's 32. Uh-huh. So you'll, you'll get to see see and use all kinds of neat and new technology, yeah, Jake, to help you be successful. Yeah, but mine is way smaller than that. It's about this big. Uh-huh. Well, uh, pretty soon you'll probably get one this size as well. Yep. And you make good use out of the one they give you, and then... And oh, that little I, one... It hooks up to my iPad, so I cool. so that won't bother me for a while. So you know, when Patrick was growing up, iPads hadn't even been invented, so you've got a head start on him already. Yeah, I had a device when I was in school. Uh, the Braille dots didn't even pop up on the screen. It was just one little Braille cell, and then once I got used to that, you know, it advanced and advanced. And uh, Jake, do you watch the show Family Feud? Never. You know that show? You never seen that show? We're on Family Feud right now in reruns. So maybe you and your mom tonight, whatever time it's on in Decatur, can watch the Hughes family on Family Feud. And hopefully it'll all be family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Steve Harvey, he uh -huh. gets a little outlandish. But anyway, that's up to your mom. But we're on Family Feud reruns this week. So maybe you can watch us on TV. But there's lots of videos that your mom and you can look at on the internet. You know, Patrick uses a laptop and surfs the web just like I do. He's got some nice talking software on there that helps him along. I have talking stuff on there. Uh huh. On my iPad, um, it's like a app where you can download books. Uh huh. Sweet. Um, it's called. Uh, I'm trying to think what it's called. Mom, what is it called? Mm, I don't remember. There's several not, different kinds. It's not NVDA, is it? No. no there's why? one that's called Jaws for Windows, and there's there's several different apps mm -hmm. now for visually impaired people it's who want to use. A, it's, uh, it's like something like I learned something. Uh -huh. yeah. Nice. Well, I wish Patrick would have had those things when he was your age. It would have made it would have made him growing up and getting smarter a lot easier. So you you got a good start, buddy, and you got a mom that loves you. And, and even though your sisters may act like they don't, they love you too. And oh, so one does your brother. Do, so. but, but <laughs> Just also, one. My brother's annoying. Is he? Like, one yeah. time he tried to poke me. 17. Oh, my gosh. Actually, 18. Uh huh. Yep. So, is he a senior? Mm -hmm. ah. Well, he'll be away to college pretty soon. Yeah, that's a good thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> so, Patrick, um, did you, what kind of school did you go to? Um, I was mainstreamed in our public school system, and we have a, a great facility in, in Louisville, the Kentucky School for the Blind, which is actually uh, right next to the world-famous American Printing House for the Blind. But I was mainstreamed in our public school system. I had a vision teacher uh, that worked with me on Braille, and I had... Uh, an instructional assistant who was kind of like my eyes and legs, made sure I got to wherever I needed to go and got all my work that I needed, but pretty much normal school. Did you ever um, wish that you had went to the blind school instead of public school? Uh, not really. Of course, I did go there on occasions for, for short courses. 
uh, you know, two or six weeks in the summer or maybe the fall to, you know, teach me how to use some of the Braille technology or things like that. So it's got the best of both worlds, regular school and the blind school. So and We've got a really, really good um, uh, vision teacher, Mrs. Hackman. Nice. And um, she just... Uh, she loves Jake just like her own, mm -hmm. and um, she really works with him and does excellent things with him. And uh, we also have cooking class. Yeah. Ooh, fun! Yeah, that's right up. You might have to come back to Decatur just to do cooking class with Jake and Mrs. Uh, Hackman. Yeah. Mrs. Oh, oh, you want me to tell you a short recipe? I do. Sure. It's only two things. It's easy. It's you want to make um, strawberry shortcake. Uh huh. Take strawberries. An angel food cake, uh -huh. smash up the strawberries and let it sink in there, and then got yourself a cake. Nice. <laughs> and what about, I've heard there's a third option with that it's called whipped cream. Oh, Can you I squirt some of that on top? <laughs> yeah, that oh, makes it even I better. Love oh, some yeah. Whipped cream. Good stuff. Oh, but my, but my other friend, she's like not even liking it. Like, mm -hmm. she's like, block. Huh. Well, it's more for you, right? Yep, more for me. <laughs> cool. Or you could also, or you could put um, the whipped cream on the on pudding. Mm -hmm. And yep. one time we done we done that at school. Yeah. And it and all the whipped cream dumped out onto the table. Uh oh. And, I, and it was in a trunk, so I just picked it up and put it back in. Good for and you. Nice. And I said it tasted like a little bit of. Table. Now, I don't know if your mom's ever shown you this, Jake, but that whipped cream also comes in like a can, like a air pressure can. Like a spray can? Yeah, and you can just hold yeah. that thing right up to your mouth and squirt it in your mouth. It's oh, absolutely yeah. fantastic. I want one of those. Yeah, that's the way to go, buddy. The heck with dipping it out of that bowl. So, Get this squirt can. Patrick, did you ever have um, issues or problems with bullies? Uh, none that really stand out. Uh, no. Although, in all honesty, throughout my school years, I was always more of an adult-oriented person. You know, I had the vision teacher and the instructional assistant that were with me mm -hmm. throughout. Uh, and granted, I did do things with, you know, my friends. If I had a friend that invited me to a birthday party, I'd go to that. Or I, per I did my junior and senior prom in high school. But really, I've, I've always been more adult-oriented. Mm -hmm. So you were able to go to college. Yes. And you've written a book, right? Yes. Oh, and I have written several or a little bit books. Yeah, that's one of the things that Jake likes to um, likes to do at home is, is we make books. Uh -huh. Nice. Cool. And, um, you know, that may be set a direction that he heads when he gets older if that's what he chooses to do. But, um, you know, I, I just I wanted um, Jake to be able to see that he can do whatever he wants to do. Absolutely. That's right. If you want to become an author, then you can do it. And don't you let those bullies get you down. Oh. Sometimes kids say bad things. They said bad things about Patrick, but, you know, that's just some kids do that and just tell there's them. There's some evil kids in my classrooms that say, well, there's one kid who said the F word to the teacher. Oh, my gosh. I know. Unbelievable. What a world. So, anyway, mm -hmm. we'll just pray for those people, right? And hope that they hope that they make changes in their life and, and turn out well. Okay, that's all. That's the best we can do, right? Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Well, listen. If you all ever want to uh, ask Patrick questions, just shoot me an email. Okay. And uh, we'll be happy to 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 help you as much as we can. You know, it's uh, Jake. I never. I didn't never think about Patrick not having his sight. It wasn't my plan, but that's just the way it happened. And and what you do. Now is you you still are going to be the best Jake you can be, right? That's what we asked of the Patrick. The only thing I wish I was yeah. was Harry Potter. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you, Patrick loved Harry Potter. And the Harry Potter books are in Braille. So if you become a good Braille reader, you can read them, and they're on audio tape. You know, Patrick has artificial eyes, Jake, right? And when he was a baby, his mom and I, we made him blue-colored eyes because we wanted blue eyes. And when Patrick, how old were you? Uh, about 13. In 13, his, uh, his head got bigger because he was growing up, you know, and he had to get new eyes. And you know what color he wanted? What? Green, like Harry Potter. <laughs> so, he had to, so Patrick had green eyes for, I guess, up until about a year and a half ago, right? 
Yeah, a little, about a year ago, just about. And then his mom and I, we made him get blue ones again because we like blue better. But anyway, <laughs> he didn't have to go along with us, well, but he did. But he got green eyes because he loved Harry Potter that much. Um, there's one thing they can never have. What's that? What? A lightning scar right up here in your forehead. No. Well, I, for I think, Halloween he did. I, was saying, I think they make like little tattoos type things that you can get. Yep. And he had broken glasses. Like Harry Potter, didn't he have glasses with tape on him, Patrick? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because Dudley kept punching him on my nose. Uh -huh. So I got a question for you, Jake. Do you do you see any light at all now? No, I basically don't see light, but uh -huh. I feel it. Sure, you feel the sun's heat. Uh huh. And you mm -hmm. hear the birds, and you know, I'll tell you another neat story about Patrick, Jake. And it was an eye opener for me when he was real young. I have three sons, and Patrick was our oldest, and. We had three cups on the sink for them to use to rinse their mouths out with after they brushed their teeth and did all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And each cup felt a little different, right? So we knew that Patrick would know that his cup was this cup because it, it was textured versus smooth like his brother's. And then one day Patrick told me, he said, I don't pay any attention to what that cup feels like. And I said, really? And I said, well, how do you know which one's yours? He says, when I set it on the sink, it makes a different sound than the other two cups. And so from that point forward in Patrick's life, I started concentrating on how Patrick hears the world mm -hmm. because it's incredibly different than that. And it's really neat. I mean, the, the, the way he perceives daytime and nighttime, he's taught me so much that oh. it's really been exciting. Has he used this thing that's made out of metal, has keys, and it's called a railer? Yes, I used to. I probably I, still do have one of those. I have one of those. The Perkins Brailler, right? I have two of them. One of them really sucks. It's it's um, plastic, so uh -huh. it's easier to break than mm. the metal one. Yeah, I never saw the plastic ones. I remember that metal one, Patrick thumping on it. Oh, yeah. Right. My, my grandfather, we used to sit at the kitchen table and he would read me the, if I bought a new CD, he would read me the titles of what was on the CD and I'd braille them out on that Perkins brailler. Mm-hmm. Now, we, we've, got a, uh, we've got braille paper strung from one end of our house to the other mm -hmm. and so you can hear them. They're strong. Of our, well, they're everywhere. They're in the kitchen. They're in the living room. They're all over your bedroom. <laughs> They're everywhere. He he loves How to just sit in, in the there. living and, room? Well, because that's where you leave them. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, that's where I left one of them. I'm well, you pretty gotta, sure I can find plenty of them. you got to remember there's a place for everything and everything in its place. Mm -hmm. Oh, I must have left the braille paper under the couch. Yeah, well, uh, that's his room is actually a disaster. There is stuff everywhere, but... He knows where it's all at. He has a system. I'm afraid to go in there and clean it because right. he'll never You'll be able to find something. anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, we thank you guys for meeting with us so much. It's our and, pleasure. Yeah, and, and talking to him. That it's, it's, uh, oh, it's really I can't make music lately. myself because I'm really good at the guitar. Oh, nice. And um, my dad's friend, he has like this um, system where you can make your own album. He doesn't know how to use it all, but we can get his, well, somebody give that stuff to him. Well, there's some great, uh, there's some great blind guitar players. Uh, Jose Feliciano is one. I know There was another guy. Well, he was a, he was a keyboard player, but um, I'm a good Ronnie Millsap. I'm a good keyboard You should have heard Patrick player. do Ray Charles this morning yeah, on the was piano. That amazing. Was, that was cool. He does Ray really good, but. I think there's some of that on the CDs. Jake, I expect some great things from you, buddy. You got a loving family, and well, you seem like turtles. a you, you seem like a incredibly brilliant young man. I know you're not going to let the fact that you can't see like we see get you down, buddy. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna be awesome. It's just like Patrick is. Okay, not exactly. Well, not exactly like Patrick, but awesome like Patrick. Maybe even more awesome. Okay, hear that. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, we heard it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to look for great things out of you, buddy. Can I have a hug? All right, let me come around there. Yeah, this is going to be a little handsome. Right here, handsome. All right, but Oh, gosh. <laughs> that way, he, you, live life like you, you live life like you hug, and everything's going to be just fine. Thank okay? you so much. Patrick's a hugger. Thank you. <laughs> really? Yes. He is. Love Thank to you hug. Give mommy hugs. Oh. Love you both. Thank All you right. so much. Squeeze. Jake, 